Shalom. All praises go to the Most High Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshua, Bashem, Rakhakadash, Dablan, the Son to the Elder Apostles, a great millstone for the teachings of the Scriptures, among other things. Shalom to the sincere Akim across the world. Now, if you Google this saying, um, how long does it take to spend a trillion? Okay, do you know how much a trillion is? It's more than just a very big number. If you spend one million an hour non-stop for 24 hours a day, you wouldn't run out of a trillion in 411 years and so forth. Right now, going to this devil named uh, Edom Musk, this dusty ass cave monkey, looking like he, or he a Guglini or whatever, he looking like he you know, he fell upon some Moabites or something. Or oh, his forefathers fell upon some Moabites. He's an Edomite. Mm -hmm. No doubt. Led by Edom Musk. Crazy gains in 2021, November 7. As you can see here. Well, this article was published in that time. Because we know he did it before that. In the, in the time of uh, the beginning of uh, November 2021, when everybody was broke, right? And jobs wasn't there. American billionaires have added nearly two trillion to their fortunes during the pandemic. They ballin'. Psalm 73 and five. They are not in trouble as other men. This is speaking about the wicked. Let me start at three. Let me start at one. Truly, Yahweh is good to Israel, even to such as are of a clean heart. But as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well nigh slipped. This is Asaph, by the way. Of the, of the, he, he wrote this uh, Psalms, which is a song, but this is true for also. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked, because he was a prophet. He saw in the future what these wicked people were doing. And then they was prosperous, and he was like, what? And if you think that is far-fetched, then... Then you, 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 should, uh, you should know this. Do the black, does the black female envy the so-called white female? If you think it's far-fetched, why do they look like that then? So it's, it shouldn't be far-fetched in your head. So this is your four. For there are no bands in their death. Basically, they're not suffering. But their strength is firm. They are as very... When you look at them, you'd be like, wow, this is, a, as they call, a tight-knit society. Mm -hmm. Tight-knit community is what they so-called have. In Satan, of course. They have it in Satan. They are not in trouble as other men. Neither are they plagued like other men. Now, this is not only for the jail part. Because you have, for example... DuPont Air spent jail, spared jail for raping his little daughter. So it says here, though Robert H. Richard IV was convicted of, he was convicted of rape, the wealthy heir to the DuPont family fortune was spared prison by a Delaware court in 2009 because he would not fare well behind bars, according to the court documents CNN obtained Tuesday. So, anybody talking about that? The majority of the people are not talking about that. Let me just say that. So it says that they are not in trouble as other men. Neither are they plagued like other men. So when everybody was starving, can't go to work. Oh yeah, I remember the scripture. Wait. Right. Let's check this out. Now it says here, Deuteronomy chapter 24, verse 6. No man shall take the nether or upper millstone to pledge for he taketh the man's life to pledge. So what does that represent? It represents that now you have the upper millstone, which is this one, and then you have the nether millstone, mill, the millstone, which is this one, this one over here. You cannot take either of, you cannot take either of, from a man 
Let's say that man owes you some money. You can't, you can't take that. You can take something else that he doesn't really 100% need. For example, with the need, I mean, uh, you don't need a Gucci bag. You just need a bag. You don't need a mansion. You just need a house to cover yourself again. You don't need um, a Gucci, whatever, whatever, Versace shoes. You just need shoes to walk around upon this godforsaken concrete that we're walking upon. <laughs> yeah, you don't need those things. You just need, a, you know, basically that's the example. So you should take something from him that he doesn't need in order for himself to survive and, and in order for himself to get food. You cannot take this from him. You cannot take that from him. Fast forward to nowadays. We don't use the millstone anymore. What we use is, <clears throat> to get food, by the way, what we use is stores and stuff like that. You just be a merchant and you sell stuff and therefore you make money and therefore you could just buy stuff for yourself and make food and, you know, provide for yourself. And for the people that are around you, if you have family, you know, stuff like that. Right. So it says here, no man shall take the nether or the upper millstone to pledge. And what is a pledge? Basically a uh, promise to give, da, 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 to cause someone to promise. To give. The pledge goes into a durvada. How do you say that? English. Like when you pay in bail, yeah, that, that, but, um, damn it, I just had that word in my head. Extortionist. Damn it, wait, wait. Right, it, it, I don't mean extortionist, I mean a public, I mean a publican, which is a collector or, but, but in this case, a collector of taxes. You come into, you know, Take some taxes, and by the way, the Durwada, the you know, I don't know how you say it in English, but well, I think it was what was it? Hmm. Bailiff type of person. What they do is they come. Let's say you have you have a fine, and then they and you can't pay it. So then they come in your house, and then they would take your television. They would take your Nike. So they would they would take uh, expensive clothing that you have. Because you can't pay for their, for the for the thing that you're supposed to pay, so then they, they take your stuff. But according to the scriptures, they let's say you were a carpenter, which is a t t timber timberman, and in the, the Dutch it was they would say timberman timberman. They would say this, you know, a carpenter, and in, in the English back in the days, I thought a carpenter was actually <laughs> you might be laughing. But I thought it was this, like he worked uh, with carpets and stuff like that. That's, that's what I thought. But then I found out that um, this is actually a carpenter in English in the, in the, or American, whatever you call it. I didn't know that. But yeah, let's say a carpenter has tools. You can take everything and anything in his house if he is supposed to pay you, but you are not allowed to take his tools wherewith he can provide food for himself and also can pay you back because if you take this from him how is he then going to work for you in order to pay you you know you can take example of the DMX <laughs> you probably thought about it but yeah just going on now it says here you're not allowed to take that okay cool cat what did they do they take away they took away the jobs from the majority of the people of the planet earth and they barred you, they stopped you from making money. Not even money, man, food. They, they stopped you from putting food upon the table because a lot of businesses just went out of business. I just came from the store, well, not now. I just came from the store during the day because it's just Shabbat, so yeah, it was not now. During the day, I came from the store and I walked by a the, the place that, we, that, that they have stores and stuff like that and I saw a lot of people went out of, they went out of business. And uh, I saw a store, it's called Spirits. I'm not playing. These Spirits, they out, they finna go out of business. I was about to go in there, but then I looked at the time and I was like, okay, cool. 
but it says that for a limited time you can now buy stuff because we're closing up shop I was thinking to myself like oh yeah they did that to you because of this er era and now in 2022 they can't keep up with the the bills that they had from 20 uh, this uh, 2020 which is 2020 and also 2021 they can't keep up with the bills now in 2022 so they had to just go bankrupt basically so they're selling out all their stuff so that's what that's one of the reasons I was thinking about doing this video because these people are balling making fat money think about it I'm 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 I'm, I'm gonna get it here because it says like let me read it again I'm gonna leave this link in the description box so you can check it out for yourself led by Edom Musk dust crazy gains American billionaires have added nearly two trillion to their fortunes during the pandemic when everybody was suffering. Then I go back to this scripture, Psalm seventy-three and five. They are not in trouble as other men; they're not suffering like other people. Also, with the with the with the Dupont with his daughter and stuff like that, they're not suffering like other men. You know, you have. man's life for cannabis sentenced to 25 years just for for selling a 30 30 sack a 30 dollar sack of weed and he was sent to jail for 25 years sent to life you know some states their 25 years is life sentence and some states life sentence means life sentence You can you, you you can check this out for yourself because I already know. But then, um, in certain states, you can check this out for yourself because I'm gonna it's gonna make the video longer. So you can check this out separately for yourself uh, if you. If you like. So it says here. They are not in trouble as other men. Neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore. Because of that. Their pride compassed them about as a chain. Violence covered them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. They have more than heart could wish. Because it shows you right here. That if you spend a million an hour non-stop 24 hours a day 24 7 you wouldn't run out of 1 trillion dollars for 411 years and yet they made 2 trillion in one year how they made it off of the back of the people while you're suffering they're balling making money in fact right and as, as things go on, they're trying to make it seem as if they are fighting against one another. Because nowadays you have this thing going on in Russia. Gasoline prices going up because of Russia. I, I, I spelled Russian. I mean, I meant Russia. Uh, why are gasoline prices so high? Ukraine Russia war sparks prices uh, price increase across US right how high will gas think 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 about think about think about it. when when you are paying they're balling okay think about that this is not some kind of joke the majority of the people on the planet earth they don't know really what's going on but anyway how high will price uh, gas prices get as U.S. bans Russia oil imports? So you got to understand that these are like elites, 
right? They have a beef, <laughs> let's just say, so-called beef, it seems. As you can see, um, right. Oh, I thought there was fighting. Anyway, you have the so yeah. You can look that up for yourself. Now you can you have the so-called elites of the country. Let's say, the, for example, the president of America, and then the president of uh, Russia. And they, they just so-called uh, commercially having a beef. Just like in the rap world. You got fake beefs and you got real beefs. Real beefs is when a bad boy moves in silence and violence and stuff. I hate quoting Biggie because I don't like the dude. Never did. But then anyway. So, but, 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 but certain things what they say. Yeah, whatever. It is real. So you have people that move in silence because they're real bad guys. They don't like their things to be put out there. But anyway, you have fake beef and you have online beef. Now, you have the so-called elites of America. And then you have the ones of uh, Russia. Right. And then the people that are under the ones of Russia, they have not really an idea what this guy is really doing. And then you have the people under the America and stuff like that. They have, <laughs> they, they're, they're even more stupid. Of what this guy up here is really doing. So, same thing with the so-called Christians and the so-called Muslims and stuff like that. You got this guy kissing the Quran. So, ain't no Christian upon this so-called Christian upon this planet Earth, which are stupid anyway. Ain't no called Christian upon this planet Earth should speak bad about the Quran because your leader, the guy that calls himself the Pope, is kissing the Bible, uh, the Quran. Anyway, it's the same thing right here. U.S. gas line prices rise again on talk of banning Russia or Russian oil. So the people are the ones that are going to pay extra. And where does that money go to? Does it go to me? No, it goes to the people that are in power in the first place. Yes, the same people that block, that raise the prices up for you. So is the same thing that happens here is the same thing that's happening here electricity going up in the Netherlands because of Russia eight days ago the Netherlands seemed to be independent of Russian gas whatever blah 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 but before the so-called war was even announced you had in no here you had in no, that's over there. sorry you had in October 2021 you got to understand that 2022, that's when they so-called announced that they're finna go to war, right? Dutch energy prices rise to almost eight times the level of 2020. So in 2020, when nobody was actually working and stuff like that, well, not nobody, but the majority of the people was, uh, <laughs> there was lockdown. Fourteen December, and they did that for 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 for, for like, no, no no they did it before that. There was it was like twenty twenty twenty. Um, they kind of started in twenty nineteen, and they went on in twenty twenty. Yeah, forgive me if I don't really hundred percent remember accurately, but I do remember. But not accurately. But I know that in 2020, like March, April, around there, then they started to shut down the stores and stuff like that. Something like that, man. You can check it up for yourself, man, in the history. Maybe I'm wrong with the date, but I know what they did. They shut down the stores for like six months over here. And all, all across the world, they did the same kind of thing. <laughs> but anyway... Let me see. Right. They shut down the stores. And basically the way of getting money, which is a, 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 against the scriptures, by the way. Deuteronomy 24, if I'm correct, if I just... The, the, the scripture that I just read. So now going back to over here, Dutch Energy uh, Rises. So it says here, electricity going up in uh, 2022. 
Energy bills have soared over the past year. The Dutch household will pay an average of 2800 to have light and heat. What? To have light and heat their homes in 2022. Right, so it says National Statistic Office, CBS, Seven Friday. And that was in uh, 2022, which is 18 February right here, because I was looking for it. I was like, oh. Oh, here it is. That means the average household would pay 86% more for energy this year than in 2021 based on January's prices, the CBS says. Isaiah chapter 7, sorry, Isaiah. Psalms chapter 73, verse 7. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. You got to understand which race you're dealing with. You're dealing with the Edomite nation. Isaiah 10 and 1. Woe unto them that decree an un uh, unrighteous degree. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous degrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. So they write laws that you cannot work. So they basically taken your upper millstone and your lower millstone wherewith you can make money and they take it in order to yeah, uh, keep you safe, <laughs> according to them. They pledge it for your safety. And you already know what pledge means. Basically, they they take your shit, man. You have pledged, according to this, the promise to give back. Let's say you owe me some money and then I take your stuff for pledge. You have that one. And then you have this one, which is... Yeah, this one too. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, this one, this one, this one too. And uh, the, I just read the other one, by the way. In the beginning of the video, I gave it, which is this one too. Give us a security for on a loan. A thing given as a token. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's another pledge. A thing that is given as security for the fulfillment of a contract or payment of a debt and is liable for fortitude in the event of failure. Basically, it says that... <laughs> hmm, Let's say I have a television and I need to pay a person some money. So and then he can he can take my television and then when I pay him back, right? Then I get back my television. Right? But if I don't pay him back, then he then and then for forfeits and then he can take my television. But let's say I am a carpenter. He cannot take he sh he's not allowed to take according to the scriptures. He's not allowed to take my tools. But these tools are very expensive, especially nowadays, because we have certain brothers in the camp that I'm in. They are carpenters and stuff like that. And uh, those, boy, those tools are hella expensive. Boy, we're looking at that thing like, what? That's some expensive tools. So, a lot of demons, especially in this world nowadays, they would take those tools and then they would sell them. Not even keep them to where you would gather the money and then pay them and then therefore get your stuff back <laughs> they would just sell them because they devils that's what they do and these are the same people that say that they believe in the bible anyway they break all the laws in the bible in itself because they are edomites psalms chapter 50 shows you that what is thou to do to take my statues in thy mouth and i snout Psalms 50 and 16. But unto the wicked, Yahweh said, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, seeing thou hatest instruction, and cast at my words behind thee? That's what they're doing. Right. So going on, let me let me speed this up. I'm going to show you here that, okay, the electricity went up in February. Yeah. But before that, it was already in 2021. The prices already went up. Why, why are they doing this? 
Psalms 73 and 7. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. When you're telling them like, hey man, you're oppressing me, for example. When you tell these cave apes that, hey man, this is racism, man. What are you talking about? Oh no, we're doing it for the kids. This is just... We're just having fun. Right. When you're telling them, like, hey, man, this is, this is some racist shit, man. This is some sexualization of what you're really doing. No, no, this is just fun. We're just, we're just having fun, you know? But when you dress up like this, all of a sudden, they, they got a problem with it. Like, an, um... They really have a problem with it. But this is all an act, by the way. It's not a joke. Where, 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 where is it? Here. It shows you here like an uh, unacceptable. The murder of six million Amalekites. It wasn't even whatever. It's not a Halloween costume. And yet they have... But anyway, this is just one, and they have many of this. This is just one that I mentioned. You know, they have a lot of fun. But anyway, going on. They can